Game On is brought to you by the Bucks County Community College. Hello, welcome into our Game On Beat the Expert show. I'm your host, Jeff Feiteman, and joining me here this week at Bucks County Community College are Renee Washington, Drew Markle, and Jen Wilgus. And as the regular season winds down, our pace pick has picked up, as I'd like to say. We've gotten a whole lot better here as uh, crunch time has arrived. 14 and 3 was our worst record for anybody last week. And some of us had a long way to go. Yeah, yeah, and you know to what? Get even even being on the bottom, you are only 6 games out with a lot of football left to still be played. All right. But having said that, we're going to start with Renee this week and you get uh, you get the backyard rivalry. Central Bucks West, Central Bucks East. In this East-West rivalry, it's I'm impressed by both teams. So it's tough to pick, but I think West coming off that tough loss to South will help carry them in this win to beat Central Bucks East. Jeff, I don't know. I, I, I saw that game against South, you know, with West. That was a tough one to lose. I think East is just a little better. I'm going to take the Patriots. Wow. Drew, I really trust your judgment on this because you've seen these teams. Well, you've seen these teams more than <laughs> I have. One. But I, I, ha I haven't seen East. I know they've got a good offense. I, they exploded last week, but it was against Council Rock North. Um, I, I like West's defense, and that's why I'm going to go with West. But it's, it's going to be close. Yes, it will. Bet. I don't know. I haven't picked West right all year. I think I've picked West right once yeah. on the show and not a whole lot in the paper either. So I'm not really sure where to go, but there's something that tells me they've got the best player on the field. And sometimes when it's really, really close, you pick the team that has the best player on the field and that's West, Jake Reichwine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll take them in a really close game. He does everything. He's he really does. He really he's is. he's yeah, really he a tremendous sure. football player. He absolutely is. All right. Hatboro Horsham Jen has a big one this week. If they want to stay in this playoff race, they head to Upper Dublin. Boy, we have really talked a lot about Hatboro Horsham, haven't we? And it seems like they're they're the little edge in the cord. for that. Right. We just keep on rooting for them. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm going with Upper Dublin. Well, you know, Jen, you're right. I've been behind Hatboro the whole time, the whole season. Upper Dublin needs the win because if they can beat Upper Moreland next week, they can get a share of the yes. continental title. That being the said, American title. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, American title. That being said, I'll take the Hatters. Yeah, I think with how tight the American <laughs> conference is, with Happer Horsham right behind Upper Dublin on their tails, and I've we've all been on their bandwagon a little bit, but they've lost some games they shouldn't have or some tough games. So I think this is the game, Hatters. I have faith in them that they're going to win over Upper Dublin. All right, I don't know. This is a really tough one. Drew has been on Happer Horsham <laughs> from jump. I really like that. I love I'm how you got on, behind a team. I'm not a retainer with them, I, I swear. <laughs> but, but Upper Dublin, I think, is where this game is going. So, all right. Now, for some more of our picks this week. Now back to our highlighted picks this week. Drew, there's a really big one in the Continental. I think we've all conceded North Penn is the best team, but CB South at Penridge, probably for the second best record in the league. And probably a home playoff game, Jeff. Absolutely. I, I, I'm gonna go with Penridge by a hair. I picked South wrong, I feel like, all season. So I'm gonna jump off that bandwagon. I'm picking against them. I'm gonna go with Penridge. You know, Penridge, uh, nearly got upset last week by winless William Tennant. Honestly, I'm not going to hang that on Penridge too much because Tennant just played re Tennant played well. Um, I'm going to go with Penridge in this one. I like the Rams. I know they've been up and down all season long. I think some people have wondered about their consistency from week to week and maybe even from quarter to quarter. I think they're the best team here. Not that that always matters, but I think in this case, I think the best team's going to win this. All right, Jen, final selection of the week. Ben Salem at Rock North, and boy, do the Owls need this one. They absolutely do. You know, they're still clinging to hope of making the playoffs. And, you know, honestly, the way Truman's been looking lately, the, uh, you know, last week I said I didn't think Ben Salem could get in, but, I, I mean, this is this is one they're, they're going to get. Right there. It's that Truman game that's going to be the question okay. mark. Ben Salem. Yeah, I'll go with Ben Salem, too. Yeah, battle of, battle of the bottom, I should say. I'm going to go with, I think, Ben Salem in this one. I battle the bottom, but one of those two bottom teams still has a shot here at that 16th or 15th seat. 
I like Ben Salem at this one, setting up maybe a winner-take-all game next week with Truman. Yeah. So, all right, that'll do it for this week's show. Just a reminder, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at HS Game On. Make sure to check out all of our Friday night highlights after the games. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next Wednesday for our Athlete of the Week show.